In this video, I show you how you can trigger a multi-state object using the day of the month. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, well, as the music suggests, this is a special Christmas edition of, um, of my tutorial. And uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone. The growth has been absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, it's been a real exciting year for me uh, in a lot of different ways. You know, we've gone from uh, being, you know, just really a handful of subscribers to um, pretty close to, I think we're very close to about 1,500 subscribers. And there's almost 150,000 views of all my videos combined. So, Again, thank you everyone. It's been a lot of fun creating videos for you and I hope to continue to do it. So on this special edition, um, we're going to talk a little bit about creating a multi-state object that is time release sensitive. And this is from Samuel who's asked me, can you time release slides? Please say yes. I'm building a course and we want to time release the content. How can this be done? So he's asked me this, and I don't know if this entirely solves what Samuel was looking for, but I thought I would share it with Samuel as a possible solution, and, and maybe it's something that, that everyone else can use for other reasons as well. So what I've done is I've created a very simple slide here. Um, I like to use the, um, the, the information from the properties panel. And you can pull that by using the CP info current slide label um, variable, system variable. And so whatever you type in here becomes the title here in runtime. And this is really a great feature to add to your master slides. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about today is um, advanced actions that will trigger a multi-state object. Now I've done videos about this before. It's nothing new, but what we're using as our condition is the time of the month, the day of the month. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to use the 12 days of Christmas as a way that we could do this. So here's my object here. Now this uh, says simply come back tomorrow to see more. And this is the default setting. And if I was to launch this on the 1st of December, uh, you would see this message here, come back tomorrow and see more and then I check the, the next day and so on. And then once I got within range of the 12 days of Christmas, I would start to see those parts of the song lyrics. And I'll show you how that's done. The first part was to create the multi-state object. So let me go into state view for this object and you will see that there are actually 13 different states. So the default is come back tomorrow to see more but on day one, or the day one state, if you will, it says on the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a partridge in a pear tree. And then it says, come back tomorrow to see more. And then day two, we get the next verse, day three, and so on. As you can see, right up until the very end where you get the, the final summary on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, and you get the whole list. I won't sing and subject you to that again, but uh, that's the idea. So each of these has a name. It's day one, day two, day three, day four, and so on. So what I do is uh, on the properties panel, let's exit from the multi-state view. On the properties panel, and I just clicked into my scrap area here to show the properties of the whole slide, you can see under the action tab, I have on enter execute advanced actions. And the script I've written is called 12 days. Let me show you what's in that script. At first glance, this might look a little complicated, but it really is just a series of if then statements. So it's a conditional action. So the very first thing is that it's going to ask a question and it says if CP info current date, and this is a system variable within Adobe Captivate that simply reports back the day of the month. So if it's the 10th of December, 
the number it reports back is 10. If it's the uh, 24th of December, it comes back with 24 and so on. So what I've done is I've created a series of decisions and I've kept them all on this tab list here. And that's how you can have multiple decisions. And this works quite nicely. So it says, if CP info current date is greater or equal to 11, do what's below. And then day two, it says 12. Day three is greater or equal to 15, all the way up until day 12 where it says is equal to 24. It's not doing greater because I don't want it to report part of the 12 days of Christmas after Christmas either. So um, this is how that works. So on each of these days, and of course the higher the number gets, that's what gets overridden. So it starts with day one and, and looks at that. And the action is change the state of Song, song text, that's that box that's on the slide, to day one, or in the day two case, to day two, and day three, and so on. So what happens here is that it will report a different song lyric onto the, or the different states of song lyrics, depending on the day of the month. So you'll actually get to see the lyrics of the 12 days of Christmas based on the actual day of the month that it is. So this works quite nicely. And I think you'll find that, uh, you know, obviously there's one example here of how we're using this, but if you had a need for time releasing uh, information or sensitive information to your audience, this is certainly a way you could do it. So let me hit close and we'll test this out and see. So again, there we are. We're on the eighth day of Christmas and we get the eight maids of milking, seven swans of swimming, six geese of laying, seven golden rings, four, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see, that's a really great way to make your content dynamic um, based on time, based on the date of the month. Now, of course, the one limitation here is that uh, this particular uh, project will continue to work in January and February as well. If anyone can uh, can figure out an alternative, I'd love to hear about that in the properties below. But certainly if you were releasing information throughout a month or two, uh, you could probably come up with a, a pretty good solution for that. So hopefully this is a great solution for Samuel and hopefully others find it useful as well. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was fun, interesting, and had a certain holiday twist to it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.